lads, lads. Uh, what's long, soft after a few drinks, and comes unexpectedly. Episode two of the Brucey's podcast. Hey! 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 <laughs> yeah, that's really good, man. I but that's 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 good. That's, yeah, you're thinking about that for a long time. I was about to say, did you think about it for a long time? I never would have guessed that. Come on. Uh, do you want to introduce yourselves again? Uh, hi. Although guys. everybody that listens should be uh, acquainted with us. I'd imagine they've all listened to the first one in its yeah. entirety. But yeah, sure. let's, let's introduce ourselves anyway. Well, I'm going to start by saying hi, guys. How you doing? I'm Jika. I don't remember. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> I remember you to be Jika too, and I remember yeah, myself you know, to I, be yeah, to Darren or Dar uh, to friends, Darren, friends Darren, and family Darren. or whoever. I'm Niall. That's about it. Same as last last yeah. month. Same as last month. Let's get down to business. Oh let's yes, let's let's crack open, crack open. Yeah, crack open. Yeah, let's but, crack open uh, some beers. Yeah, yeah. For anybody yeah. who didn't listen to the first podcast, which is everybody, let's be quite fucking honest here. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go over what the like? I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a proper job of handing the beer over. Oh, oh well, there's, okay. a, there's a backstory. A G, back to this. There's a backstory to this. Well, maybe, maybe I can can give that backstory. Well, first of all, I'll just say this podcast is where we uh, each bring one beer. We share it amongst ourselves. So it's three different beers, and we're gonna rate them. Yeah. Yeah. I give our expert Did you say opinion. Rape them or rate them? We're going to rape them and rate them. <laughs> we rate them after the rape. <laughs> so, uh, GK has got the first beer going. It's um, I should pass that bottle to conditioned. I think proper no, job. No, I think you'll be familiar with this. I may I have very familiar purchased with you a bottle of this for your last birthday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you did. Did you? Were yes. you there, GK? GK, you were there. Yes. But he did arrive quite late, as, as always. Paying attention, Hi, as man. always. I bought uh, Niall this because basically the Niall has never had a proper job in his whole entire life. <laughs> well, I've, I've, had, I've had a few different types of jobs. He has, he has, he has. He, he's I like the way this fits in the story. It does. I bought him the, the, the drink kind of as a, I suppose... A, we're cracking them open. We're cracking on here, That's a very good crack. There's no fucking around. I like the way like the fucking bottle caps just like fly off the <laughs> table. Yeah. Three bottles enough. open. Oh, no, we're not, no, no, we're not pouring this time, lads. We're just going to straight from the bottle. Oh, yeah, we're going straight from the bottle. It's, it's, the it's bottle. something different. Book it. Look, lads, oh, should we get some colour into it? Nah, f- you know. Nah, just it's, go it's for it. Knock, knock it down. Beer. Cheers, oh, cheers. Beer. Here's um, St. Ostale proper job. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it does a proper job. <sighs> it tastes like Cornish IPA, lads. You, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, that's that's an interesting thing. It has it written right underneath there. <laughs> powerfully hopped oh, Cornish IPA. It's powerfully hopped. Yeah, it's five point. It's five point five percent alcohol volume. I can, I can, I can describe what it tastes like. Do you want to read the shite on the back of the bottle? Grape, there, grapefruit, lemon zest, and malt. <laughs> it has a very interesting aftertaste. It it does. It's a, supposedly it's a golden color. If the uh, if the description on the back is <laughs> can't to be tell believed. from the brown bottle. <laughs> so if we, if we had a couple of pint glasses, if we if, if we would have poured it in the glass, we could have told you you know the color, but we don't have one. We can, but, the bottle is telling. Interestingly us. enough, this is the first beer we've had. We haven't had a glass, but the first beer we've had to actually tell you the color on the back anyway. So we. I mean, you know what that is? That's a proper job. That it's is a proper, a proper job. Proper, That's job. A proper beer. Chica, maybe you might just you can just read the little the little spiel yeah. on the back. Uh, let me see here. If you need if a hand, just, just let me know. Yeah. Right. English not being your first language. Go on. Go on. Or you're second. For that <laughs> well, you're not. Go on. A proper India pale ale. Proper job is a strong golden ale that that's powerfully hopped. <laughs> Brewed using a natural Cornish spring water and Maris odor barley blended with... Maris otter. He's struggling here, but uh, keep going, Jigga. Yeah, no, you're doing a great, <laughs> three great three carefully job. selected varieties of hops. It's bursting with citrus and grapefruit flavors, naturally conditioned in the bottle to ensure the maximum flavor. Yeah, bullshit, basically. But it, it tastes pretty good. I, I kind of like it. Saint of like, Stell have done a decent job. So, I mean, as I said before, I bought you this for your last birthday. Kind of as a bit of a, a bit of a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> you didn't. You enjoyed the beer at the time. It's not a joke. It's a proper job. Yeah. I don't really remember what it tastes like because uh, no, that's what's going to say. I had other things on my mind that day. I, well, <laughs> depressed about turning thirty was one of the things. Yeah. Really? And me, no. you think, me, <laughs> no, no. me, me kind of joking about the fact that you had your first proper job at kind of turning 30. Yeah. Was kind of, I don't know if that kind of helped. I like the way well, you just slid that in there, you know? Yeah. It was very thoughtful of you. It was a, no, it was. Know, so I, no, I, I genuinely like the taste no, of this. it was a turning point in your life when yeah. you turned 30. It was. Uh, he's, he's only really started to be kind of funny since he turned 30. He was never really had much of a personality. Most people would it. say the complete opposite, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That's interesting. <laughs> No, actually, this is this is nice. It has that little um, fruity aftertaste to it. It's a bit different to other beers. It is a bit. Like it's it. a bit different to other beers. It is a bit different. different. Good for some reason. Well, it's, good it's, it's fruity, isn't it? Well, definitely, you know, uh, definitely fruity. To that. And See, it's, it's a big, <laughs> it's a beast of a bottle as well. It is a beast Feels of a good in the hand. Hey, man, I'm doing my best. Feels good in the hand. <laughs> Feels good in the hand. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, ah, hey, oh shit. there he is, kicking right off. Fuck yep. Saint Austell. So yeah, I presume that's uh, British. You said it was yeah, with Cornish. I presume it's genuinely. Cornish. Proper British. Cor- Proper British. 
Is it Corn one, I presume, is Corn. Yeah. <laughs> I well, pr- I'm presuming a lot Is this here. a record, Lazar? I, I mean, I, I don't want to kind of go on about it too much, but is this apparently established, or saying it's established in 1851. Yeah, I was looking at that. Which is considerably, you know... 1981. No. What? 1851. Established Fuck brewery off, since really? 1851. Right at the top of the bottle. That's an old fucking brewery. So well, there you go. The, la- the last podcast, I don't think we had anything back beyond the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> 1990s, that is. This is in the 1890s. These guys are still yeah. already yeah, around you know, for four you know years. It's funny, like uh, on those bottles that we're saying, oh, bre- uh, brewed since 1990 or whatever, they're making that as like a point of, uh, yeah. you know, pride. It was in far bigger writing yeah. than this was. <laughs> These fuckers have been brewing since 1851. And it's like tiny little yeah. font on the front of the fucking Because bottle. they're so well known that they don't feel they, they don't have need to. to no, because they don't, they're doing they don't to beat the fucking chest job. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. How many of those How guys can you get can in get? 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> How many proper jobs can you get in one minute? Well, no one's only ever had now. one. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's in any movie before 2000, you will not fucking watch. No, I would watch fucking... Yeah, I would, watch, fucking I would no, watch Die Hard. I would watch a Die, Robocop Die, series. Die, I would watch Robocop and Die Hard. Come on. Come on, I would watch like minute. Robocop and Die Hard. What day? When were they released? First. No, basically, if like you're if first you're, Robocop was like released in 1986. If you are, if you ever find yourself in the Dulema household and they bring up the topic of watching a film, first of all, I sympathise with you. Oh, first of on, all, man, like, and second of all, you I will used, not watch a movie pre 2000 or pre 2006. I'd say I used to love the movies from the 1990s. What? what? I, I, so I understand the point you're making now. Uh, to be honest, maybe oh, maybe really? a bit like the that. Same, yeah. No, and I understand I'll, the point he's making about you now. I didn't white, initially. If it's black and white, even if it's a new black and white movie, you will have nothing to do with so it. So that means he wouldn't enjoy a bit of the Shawshank Redemption or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Oh. I've seen the Shawshank Redemption. No, it's a, it's a, Shawshank it's a isn't black and white. No, no I know it's not, it's not black and white. I'm not talking about black and white. I'm just meaining it's post 2000. It's a great movie. Great movie, yeah. No, What's you're a, taking this look. You're taking let Schilder's me, List. This guy will not watch Schilder's List because he, it's black and white. That's the reason why he won't watch it. Look, I guarantee it. Not necessarily because it's black and white. It's not my type of movie. Because of the color on the screen. Not necessarily. It's just not my type of movie. No, and he's entitled to his opinion. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying he's not entitled leave to his opinion. Out, I'm just saying. Just alone, yeah. like, what would you, in your opinion, if you were to make, like, if you put, like, a good movie right now, latest good movie that you've seen? Uh, Nightcrawler. That was pretty good. Oh, shit, in my opinion. There you go. Okay, I guess we would like different movies, eh? There you okay, go. Different um, strokes, last. Different have you seen it? Have you seen Oh, no, no, tell you. Uh, what's that? Uh, Birdman, or whatever the fuck that was called. That was fucking great I haven't movie. seen that yet. That I haven't seen that yet. I've heard, I've heard it's good. Birdman. But Birdman. And yeah, Michael, Michael Keaton. It's meant to be good. Really good, man. Oh. Really um, good. Did you what? watch um, uh, The Grand Buddha Pest Hotel? No, I haven't. Great movie. It's a good movie, isn't it? Amazing. Have it's you seen the American really Sniper? Yeah, I did. It's shit. It's shit. Be great there. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> halfway through that fucking movie, I re- realized it was a true story. Only halfway fucking oh, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, know? Because I was thinking, you got to see the thing on Facebook. Uh, somebody posted no, it on Facebook. It was see, like, uh, yeah, so God guided my bullet. No, but see, the thing is, like, I, I, I read about that guy. I knew about that guy, but it just didn't click. It just didn't, oh, it didn't click with me. You didn't make the connection. Didn't make the connection at all. And like halfway through the movie, I was like, this movie's good, but like it sounds it, familiar somehow. No, it's like, not, it it's, wasn't even that. It wasn't even that. It was like, um. It's good, but there's no like really big drama. Like it's kind of a bit boring and a it bit too like, like real life. <laughs> That's what I was saying, you know. No, it was uh, like I kind of like watched like three quarters of it. Like, so you didn't even watch the whole thing. That's how boring. Oh, it, that's it how boring. Felt. You thought it was. No, seriously. I thought um, what's your man's no, uh, what's your man's name? The uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Everyone said, "Oh, Oscar, 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 Oscar." Oh, fuck off. It's okay. I didn't. Okay. He just like he had a good hillbilly accent. <laughs> yeah, no. It's funny though. And when I was watching some YouTube videos of the actual sniper guy afterwards, and he he does actually look like him quite a bit. Like he has that yeah, kind of slight bit of weight, yeah, like a little the, bit of more like weight. The in the trailers look, like. look look excellent for that movie. And it, it's directed by um, what's his face, Clint Eastwood. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. yeah, Clint Eastwood has that. Uh, like he yeah, made directed some really good movies. Like yeah. what was that? Um, Letters from IOG or whatever the fuck that's called. That was a really good movie. But then this one, ah, meh. What? Bradley Cooper does look. Like a bit of a beast in it. He doesn't look out and like himself in any of your movies I've yeah. seen. He looks like a tiny bit of way on. to see next. Oh, Jesus, I don't know, man. I don't know. The next Prometheus movie, that's what I want to see. Science fiction. That's a good point, yeah. Prometheus. Really? Tr- yeah, science fiction's ever But like, I considering I was going to say, uh, do you know what I want to see next? Whiplash. I've heard of that. What is it? It's about a guy that plays in a jazz band. Okay. Oh man, it's like he's a drummer. Is that it? I mean, is that no, it's a, is it's that a movie. Drummer in a jazz band. He he's a drummer in a jazz band, and he has like this, uh, you know, music teacher, whatever. It's like he's driving him hard, like all the time, like going, like fucking, like he thought he thinks he's a soft, he's soft with him, but he's not. 
like fucking slaps the shit out of him. It's like, you're not going to ruin my band and shit like that. It's like putting hands through it. You, you got to see this like that really, really. pretty intense. It Sounds is. A bit like, familiar, it's, it's like it's uh, <laughs> Every Oscar, band I've been in. <laughs> like Oscar nominations and crap. So oh, Oscar really. nominations. Yeah, usually, well, that know. usually means bullshit. I think uh, Darren's left to retrieve his beers. He feels it's time to get this shit moving. <laughs> Jig, are you actually even for a piss right now? You're going to leave me on my fucking own. You could have chosen the moment when Darren isn't outside in the freezing fucking well, cold. He's, he's coming back. He has the sketcher bag. Did I not say to you 20 minutes ago that you would not get through this podcast without taking a piss? And here we are, 20 minutes Darren fucking later. In. Yeah, I do. Can I, can, I, I think, can I just say, um, purely timing, Jig? Are you, you fucking know. 12 years old, GK? I've seen 12 year olds oh, able to healthy, hold their piss better. I have better. a healthy bladder. You have an unhealthy bladder, <laughs> GK. Let's be honest. You've got no sense of time, and why would you go when I've disappeared? Exactly. Because it's the perfect time. Nobody's talking. He's trying to sabotage his podcast. Nobody's talking. Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Let's just make just silence. Put that, back here. In, put that back in. I'll be right back in like. This is what Giga, This is what GK wants for, for the podcast. Why did That's we- what you want, <laughs> just silence. <laughs> I hope what we can do there is you can actually overdo it, like you can sort of pop in a little like birds tweeting at <laughs> yeah, that moment just, that you've just done exactly there. what I'm going to do. <laughs> I like exactly it. What I'm going to put that in the edit. I'll be right back. And, and, and then you can edit me out actually suggesting Yeah, it. George, enjoy your piss. Just bring the fucking mic. I'd love to hear you fucking pissing. Get out of here. Go. Fuck me. Let's, let's talk about Jika while he's gone. No manners. A- no manners. No manners. No sense of timing. No bladder, apparently. It just goes straight through him. Evidently not. He's had about three pisses in the last hour. Actually, yeah. 45 minutes, I'd even exactly. say, at a push. So, uh, Darren, how are you? I'm very good, Noel. I'm good. very good. I'm good. very good. good. It's, I'm... Good. it's good to see you. You're looking well. Thanks, Vinny. Likewise. Likewise. I'm looking forward to uh, to enjoying my beer with, 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 uh, with two close see, friends. So, you always come here right behind your beer. I mean, you support it to the end. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're all about your own fucking beer, Darren. I am a bit selfish <laughs> like that. Yeah, a little bit. I like to enjoy. I, I want everyone to. I want everyone to have a pleasant experience. I mean, I want to be able to walk away and think, you know what? I went out on a whim and I, I took a bit, a bit of time. I, I'll be honest. What happened was, went into the off license last night and I was kind of rushing in and out just to check out what beer I might suggest. And I had a little look around and I didn't pick one because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pick one you, right yeah, away. You, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Quality. You're, you're yeah. concerned about the quality. I, I, I didn't want to just make a decision on a whim, so I came back today and I spent another amount of time. Again, doing the same thing, going through a lot of different choices, potential choices, and eventually coming to to, to a choice. That Here, here's a care. fact you will like, Darren. Okay, I, I'm going. Uh, now this is why you th- shouldn't this hold is Christmas trees over. You know, no, Jake, you should to close the door after you enter a room. Exactly, especially after you've pissed. Go close the door. Okay, what does that have to here's do? Here's a fact, Darren. will like, okay, now this is kind of technically our third podcast. We, this starts official second. We had a wee pilot, a little pilot. Okay. We did. If we were to add up the points for a first, which I must for, add, sorry to interrupt. There, we're all pretty proud of it. Right. Go on. Uh, if you were to add, give points for each first, second, or third place, yeah, Darren would be in first place. He's had a first and a second. I've had a first and a third, and you've had a first and a third. I think. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'll, Darren you know, will be in first place. You if know points what? were given I, I out. Well, for speaking of that, lads, we're about to finish. We're about to finish this. Actually, finish yeah, I finished mine that's, ages ago. That's, uh, uh, and actually, do, yeah, do you want to give it a, a mark? Yeah. Uh, thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me. I'm going to give it a middle. Are you? Is it? Boy, I know, it's well, his no, opinion. No, was that biased because of what I, because of two thumbs up? No, I'm not mad about the aftertaste. Oh, yeah, that's what I like about it. Yeah. It's not, for me, it's, okay. honestly, it's, it, it's kind of, it's a bit heavy and um, I'm not saying it's not no, nice, but I find I it a little bit on the heavy side. I find it really light and quite refreshing. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say like, first hit, is like first, uh, first is this taste that uh, strikes you is like nice and fruity. That's probably one of the nicest beers I've had in this podcast, these podcasts so far. Really? Thanks, Niall. That means a lot. No, look, I'm not fucking congratulating you. You've just chosen this purely by the label. It's not hey, because of man, your taste, Jika. No, which he should have spotted, it. which he should have spotted from your hey, 30th just, birthday. Just, exactly. Exactly. What he did. Let's just get back to the, la- to the fucking... <laughs> All right, you know, Darren's, uh, Darren's about to uh, unleash hell. As always, lads, you can expect Burn from me that. a bottle that's kind of got a little bit of tape on it so you can rip it open. I know oh, you I just know love you the kind of present kind of a situation. Yeah, it's more it about the it I do. Well, it's, it's, it's my, it's, this is just, this wasn't done in store. This was done by me. And in it's fact, nice black they're sack. probably all, uh, well, mine is... Oh, hello. I've, I've got a sneaky view. Yeah, Wait, I are they all different? <laughs> no, it's just... A, oh, that's... A, okay. They're okay. not wrapped very well. That's the problem. It's but I said on the jig. It looks like my uh, vibrator. And we've all got the bottle in our hands. So uh, Here we go. Go, go for it, lads. <sighs> 
I like the way he always brings these blue colored colored bottles, you know? Brewdog, punk, IPA. Hey, 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 like, like feel no, the way. No, that post, feel, feel the modern rapping, classic. Feel the post, modern, post modern classic. Yeah, it's yeah. got like, like Braille on it. Yeah. Now, hang on, this is, is, is for blind people? Is this our first Brewdog beer? I think it is. I believe is it? it is. Yeah, I Who am I thinking of? Did I not tweet Brewdog? Uh, oh, I month? like the label, man. I don't think so. Like, it's pretty hip. No, I like the sky blue color and... Um, I'll tell you what, it looks refreshing. I hope it's refreshing. They have a few different beers. And Punk. I've I was, heard ex- this, right? I was yeah. explaining Punk. to you earlier on, they have a hardcore IPA one earlier on and it had 9.7%. Oh, yeah. And I kind of thought... Oh, heavy. You know what? It's pr- someone's bound to bring a heavy That's beer. I won't bring, I won't I won't bring a heavy. Guy. I won't be that guy. I'll bring this one. I think it's going to be very drinkable and I hope a tasty one as well. So I like it. It's kind of like a blue turquoise kind of yeah. uh, label. It's lovely color as Brew well. Brewdog Punk IPA postmodern classic. Let's crack this bitch open. Yeah, let's just see how, how much of a classic it is. Thanks, Chica. Let's have a oh, smell there. Firm one. Good lad. It smells like some kind of cleaning, cleaning chemical. <laughs> Which is great. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. lads. Enjoy, yes. enjoy. Mm. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> it's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a fruity taste to it. It does. It's 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 not kind of similar. similar. It's not that different. It's not that different to Papa Job. You know it's funny that. I didn't want to be the first one to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but the first thing I thought of was, Have I got a bottle? Have I got another bottle of proper, job? Another <laughs> bottle of proper job? It does taste a bit like proper job. To be fair, but it does. Yeah, it's a bit fruitier and it doesn't have as much of the same aftertaste. Now is, is that different. just us being rank amateurs at beer no, tasting? I, th- I think it genuinely. No, we said we were, well, Darren's right. It has a it has a bitter aftertaste. It's the aftertaste, the one, yeah. It does have a bitter. more bitter. It, it is. It is. It is a bit more bitter aftertaste. I agree. Oh, yeah, right. It's actually a bit more like a kind of a, a limey aftertaste on this one. Kind of a, whereas I think proper job having more of a kind of a I don't know. A, That's very a good. Malty sort of. Damn man, have you been fucking brushing up on your beer? <laughs> have you like <laughs> tasting beer? Yeah, you like practicing every weekend at home. Lads, this is a <laughs> you know this is as we said before our third podcast. Only two officially made the you know we the pilot and you know this is our third one I suppose. Yeah. This is interesting. Yeah. Same striking taste. Well, yeah. what, what I might do is I it's might give that. you a bit of a lowdown on, on, on the spiel there. Yeah, read, read, yeah. That. read that read shit that? for me, Darren. Hopefully you can read it better than Jika. Ho- oh, come on, man. I'll do you my like best. He, <laughs> he said it. He said it's not my first language. It's not. It's not. Let, let me let me oh, have a go anyway, okay? Yeah, it, is, it, is, it is quite hard to read and given the colors. Do you, you need my glasses? And the small text. No, no, text. I'm fine. It's very small text. Do you want to magnify glasses? No, it's all good. I'll give it a go without anything. It's a bit like trying to find your cock when you're masturbating. Uh, what? You speak for yourself, not. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so um, at Brewdog, we brew uncompromising, bold, and irre- irreverent beer. Not irrelevant beer. Irrelevant, that'd be quite the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I don't care what we're brewing. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just brew whatever's in there. <laughs> it's fine. It's grand. <laughs> so it's a beer with a soul and a purpose. It's the only thing we know. It's the only um, thing we want to know. We have a terminal craziness to make the beers we want to drink. And actually, I was about to say the bears we want to drink, and I thought that wouldn't be right. They're not making bears in there, surely. But it's a bit hard to read given the the, the contrast in in sky blue. Bears, there. bears. I don't see the connection. No. The, what? There's <laughs> one different uh, letter Nile in the word. There is. Anyway, Can you finish the goddamn? Our thing? approach is a modern day rebellion for flavor and choice. A mad last ditch stand to create beer that actually tastes of something. Beer like it was. Beer like it will Healthy. be. And that says, dish the mainstream and say, say hello, hello to the brew dog. dog. So um, in my opinion, I'm just saying straight off. They're going strong in the description. Brew, an, brew Dog is nice. one of the, uh, I was on Twitter there last month, uh, mm. tweeting the beers that we drunk last time. Mm. Having a great crack. And Brew Dog was one of the names that came up as quite, quite the popular, uh, what would you call it? Um, brewing companies, indie brewing companies. Oh yeah, they were highly, highly regarded, were yeah, they? Yeah, a lot of followers, and I must yeah. say that like they have a pretty strong description. Like if anybody yeah, reads well, this, like they're going, you know, they're positive about their shit. You they're know? all in, bitch. Yeah, it's like fuck that, whatever it is, it you is. You know, one thing I noticed in, in shopping around earlier on was that um, a lot of companies are kind of going sort of very, uh, and we've seen it before as well. They're going very clean on the the whole the the, on the labeling. Or? Yeah, the labeling is it's, it's, it's minimalist. They've gone for kind of. I, I think I read one earlier on. I just said some, and they actually I think said. Fuck labeling. <laughs> you should have got that one, man. Get that one next one. Next Maybe one. I will. It was basically just like, we're not here to label. We're here for beer. And <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was like em- it. There was nothing going on there. They, I like they that. weren't shy. They weren't, you know, they didn't want to not invest in stickers. Do you remember the name? The stickers popped right on. They just right. didn't want to have anything on it. Fuck that. I was yeah. about they were to like, say, we're this gonna put a sticker like on. the opposite. Like, these, exactly. They got like this random. This has a lot of detail on the. Well, it's not even detail. It's like random black marks just all over the bottle. Like, what? Is it for grip? 
is a Where? braille is a f- in case, in case Where? you're looking at all these in case you're climbing a mountain Nile and you need to hold your beer it fits pretty good in your I think it's just part of the design to be honest because grip. if you actually look at it it's kind of it's it's actually I can't explain it the way it's, it's weird it's like <laughs> random black it is very it is very, it is very you're random drunk, it's like what do you feel in your hand i feel my uh Cock. it's my brew dog yeah it's my it's my brew my dog. dog my dog my, my brew dog. dog punk ipa in case you're doing in like some pair, kind of like blind beer feeling Oh, whoa, 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 Whatever whoa, you're whoa. into, Jeek, it's hey, okay. Look, it's you a know. podcast. You probably have a lot of blind listeners. Potentially. What? Yeah, come on. What the fuck does that have? Do have? We, don't, need to, don't need to be insulting our blind I'm not listeners. Insulting any- like I'd, like, I'd like to apologize, to apologize on behalf of Bruce's yeah, podcast yeah, go on. to our blind listeners. You're most welcome here. Now, Jeek may have a problem with you. No, I don't. You're enhancing <laughs> this. Uh, enhancing it? Oh, dear. All he's doing is apologize and merely work. apologize for the fact that you've offended. I think you should apologize At least two people. Yeah, me being one. No, it is. And I'm not even blind. Me being two, blind. me being the second one because of, I'm as blind as you are. Well, not actually. Well, no, what it's I, impossible. It's, it, you can't Well, be that you're the only one here wearing glasses. You're the only here wearing, wearing contacts. And I look Have damn, you seen look your glasses? I'm the only one here not wearing them. anything that needs glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen your glasses, Niall? Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, because I can't find them because I'm fucking blind. <laughs> Oh. We get to move on to Noel's beer next, which you've been yeah. teeing up. No, I mean, teeing. You, no, you like, said straight away you wanted to go last, so uh, obviously there's something that was a little for, special no, about this no, one. It's, it's not special, you know. It's tradition. Could be controversial, actually. No, the oh, fact that these taste oh. the same means my, mine was going to break, break the palate nicely. You can actually say, like, uh, you're off license, Noel, the one in Fairview here yes. is like pretty goddamn good. It's like, it is good. They have a lot Although, of things. Although, uh, the guy. <laughs> The shop well, is let's the not shop talk is, about the shop. No, maybe we, the should, shop we should. Assisted. We should. We should go into detail. Smell like shit. <laughs> oh, and, no, oh, I take God. it back. We shouldn't go into detail. The guy detail. was stacking the shelves beside me. Man, he smelled like fucking <laughs> let's just, shit. Like, was, he stacking, was he stacking high shelves? <laughs> <laughs> Important question. <laughs> no. So the thing is, he wasn't even stacking high shelves, and yet I could still smell the odor. Oh, that's different. It was mm, rank. That is pretty grim. Fucking rank. <laughs> so. Excuse me, sir, while I stretch above your ear with my left arm here, um, please stay in where but you are. In general, is is a good, good offer. It's a good selection. It is. Yeah, they have yeah. a good beer. And I must say, of Irish stuff like, even though he stinks, or whatever he has like okay. if you ask him for advice he'll I point. know yeah but Chica, you yeah, yeah. that point that you're making right there is completely is, is nonsensical because that doesn't excuse the bullshit you showed up with last time uh, well, nothing <laughs> you know will mean? ever excuse you the bullshit you just said there that he gives you good advice and he he's so great and he came up last <laughs> time with fucking oatmeal chocolate coffee shit what man that was awful what was that it was disgusting <laughs> that's uh, uh, you might enjoy well, this Darren just, like looking at your tree right now look look okay <laughs> Jake, you might want to elaborate a little bit. Let's, no, no, let, let's get the pink elephant, the big fucking elephant in the room. Let's, <laughs> the get, let's get it out. Let's it's get it out. It's the biggest fucking elephant in the building. All right, so it's the 31st of January and I've, I still have my Christmas tree behind me. Now, it's not decorated. It's just, it's just, it's just there. It's a, and it's now, a real Christmas tree. As, as, yes, it's a real Christmas tree. Now, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> it's, it's no time. longer a Christmas tree because it hasn't got decorations on it. It is it's a pine a, tree. It's a it's fucking, a fucking pine, pine tree. It's a pine tree with a Christmas stand in your living no, room, no. bro. I object to that. It's a pine tree. It has got the skirt underneath. It's a pine tree. It has got the skirt underneath. It's beautiful. I reckon if we all st- <laughs> if we all looked at it together for about a minute, it would probably just <laughs> listen, die. listen, 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 listen. It wouldn't be much energy. To, it wouldn't be able to take that amount of energy on it. <laughs> listen, lads, you lads. could will that to die. As a Christmas tree, it was beautiful. As a, a, as a pine tree uh, in no. my room, is that it's why you still, Is that why you no. won't let it go? You lads are jealous of my fucking as Christmas, Christmas tree. Christmas tree, it was beautiful. It's the thirty first of January. Hey, look. What purpose is it serving now? No? <laughs> what, pur- what, sir- what, what purpose is it serving now? Pure beauty. Darren, you're asking the right questions. Know, right? Always... Listen, it's fucking generate, generating oxygen. It's generating uh, a fucking topic of conversation as well <laughs> that it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's it smells nice. No, it doesn't. Unlikely. It fucking does. This beer smells okay, stronger than that uh, tree. And it's home to lots of insects and small animals. Oh, that's good to have in your oh, living room. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, no, it's nice. So, you that's know, exactly what you Listen, look, I'll, t- I'll tell you what the bottom line is. Too fucking lazy to bring it out. Too fucking lazy. Shocking. Thank you. We're I'm finished. almost finishing this off. Uh, starting with GK, uh, what would you give that? Uh, you know, no, middle thumb. Middle thumb. Why? Because, um, you know, First two tastes, it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. After that, it's, it gets kind of boring. You know, it's like coming way too strong. The aftertaste is not actually on my liking. Okay. I uh, almost, almost completely agree there. I'm going to give it a middly thumb, a middly wavy thumb. Uh, yeah, first few sips were really fucking nice, but 
has a bit of a chemically kind of taste. Yeah, as in so after, after like more sips, he goes like, oh, yeah. yeah that's like that's at, at first, the, the aftertaste at first tasted a lot like proper job. But uh, the longer you, you sipped it, the more didn't quite like. No, it took taste. a while for the uh, for the for the uh, roofies to uh, to to settle in there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, it's gonna be a long night, a really enjoyable long night. <laughs> I'd probably give it a middle in as well. It's, oh, there um, we go. it's okay. It's average know. all around. It's, um, it's, it, yeah. We are I, literally sitting on a fence. Okay, uh, so it's a middle's all around. I'm going to get me a beer, lads. Fill in for me. Don't go for a piss. Fuck. <laughs> but, but for anyone who's interested, Brewdog Punk IPA, it's, it's, it's not a bad beer. No, you know, have it a go. Have bad. a go. You might enjoy it. You might enjoy it more than we did. You know, like, <laughs> if I were to make a beer tasting like this, mm. I'd probably make it in a smaller bottle. A smaller no, there's bottle There's not many smaller bottles than, than this. Much smaller than that. What, you want me shots of it, do you? Hey, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking bail it out somehow. No, beer shots already! Anyway, I am here with the, the, the final and last beer. Now, I did say uh, I wanted to go last for a reason. I, I thought I'd break the palate up a little bit. And I, indeed it will, because technically it's not a beer. What, what's he done? It's a cider. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh my god! Look at that! That's fuck that, that. That's a handsome bottle. Like, come on. That is, that man. Is are you, a handsome. Noel, are you? Darren, you do not look happy with the fact that it's a cider. What to tell me? To open your heart to me, Darren. Why are you I not like happy? it? This takes me back to me and Noel. I was ah, say listen. sixteen, seventeen. Noel was about nineteen. I wasn't Noel. able to drink, and all you wanted to drink was cider. Oh, I hated I, I it. I love cider. Look, look at this look, bottle. That's a sexy bottle. I'm gonna say this. Are you are you showing off a beer, or are you writing a poem? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking like, about? The way the label looks and the bottle looks all thick. Right. It's a beautiful golden label. It is. It's fucking a Longville House cider, hundred percent natural, medium dry, artisan cider from our orchards in the Blackwater Water Valley, Valley. handmade should, in Ireland. You should this looks read, beautiful. We should read. Like you should read. Like take a picture of this seriously. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. There, here's there's my phone. Got my cock <laughs> hanging out beside it. What? This, <laughs> we should really take a picture. I really hope it measures up. These are the bigger size like bottles. Really, well. It's really, really nice. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a, it's a gorgeous bottle. Would your knob be, oh. uh, no, would your knob be sizable to this bottle? Um, my knob has been described as golden before. Like, and it, it, it is handmade in Ireland. Although hands what? other what? than Irish what? have been on it. What? <sighs> okay, here we go. Regularly. Here we, so yeah, it, this is a cider. Now, I don't think, what well, you said before, it doesn't, beer is, is, is it, whiskey, is not beer, obviously. <laughs> but really? I, I think cider, no, what I'm saying is beer, cider, stout, you know, as long as it's a liquidy kind of Look, shit. to be honest, let's be, I'm not, I'm not mad about this whole concept. Oh, but the smell. If Jika can get away with uh, breakfast stout, oh, then you can get away with anything, anything, can you? Go. You could show up with a fucking bottle of vodka and go, hey, yeah, and you'd probably get away with it. It's meant to be a beer. No, no, I think cider is okay. I think, I think well, cider uh, has, to be, has to be included. I mean, you know, I'll be this, honest, I'm not mad about this, but if GK uh, can get away with last week, I suppose why, this, you can just take liberties whenever really? you want, can you? This is why I said we can't have this first or second because it's just too, it's going to be very sweet, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, well, let's be honest. Well, cheers, lads. Like cheers. Like Enjoy. Cheers, lads. Oh, cheers. This just takes me back to the drinking Damn, bullshit whatever. last week. Yeah, listen. Yeah, I'm going to tell a little story after I have a sip of this. Whoa. Oh, that's very natural, kind of uh, apple juicy. It's like fucking having a Tesco apple. What? Having a Tesco apple? No, I, I'd liken it more to a super value apple. Go on, Chica, tell me why. Really? Uh... It's like having Tesco cooking apples, man. Mm. Why, would you be ha- why would you be having Tesco cooking apples? You know, my wife, vegan and all, like she likes her fucking... She force, you're married. She force feeds what? you. You're married. You're the only one not married, no. Darren, you're married. <laughs> but, this is news to me. Both you, can, you can, both can, married. Can we just get back to the point here? Jika is being force fed um, bacon apples by his wife. Go on. What? Bacon apples? Next thing is, she'd be spitting them on a fucking spit roasting them. The the apples fuck are you talking about? In his about, fucking man? mouth. When was the last and time you had <laughs> something spit roasted? Your mother. <laughs> That's not, no, there's no need. We can cut that out. That's like, you were joining me. You were spit, ro- spit roasting her with me. Dude, <laughs> that was appalling. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it was appalling. <laughs> you should really, really cut that out when you're fucking editing the shit. That ain't getting cut out for a shit. <laughs> That's what she said. Ooh, what? That will get cut out. It get cut out. <laughs> oh, so cut, the, cut out the good bits. Cut out the knobs. <laughs> she said cut it out. <laughs> oh, God. Cut it out, lads. <laughs> Stop spit roasting me. <laughs> Dick. Yeah, that's what she said. That's Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he was you asking for the <laughs> proper job, eh? <laughs> You're not going for piss now. That's an excuse to get away from the heat. Uh, <laughs> Don't be doing that. She that's said. What jungle said. <laughs> it's all got the. 
Now it's let's let's bring it back. I guys. know it's a song in a fucking album. I showed you that band, dude. Yeah, man, but I like it. It's like it's I know it's album. great, great yeah, fucking I'm band, man. Yeah, go idea. for your fifth fucking piss of the night, Chica. It's my no, third. Chica, on microphone, on record. Would you promise you something? Yeah, what? You'll go to a fucking doctor next week and get that shit checked out. Because <laughs> yeah. seriously, man. Or? Well, he's going for a piss again. This is fifth one in the last hour. Shocking. Shocking. So he, no, that, that leaves just you and me here. Just, just it's, quite, the, it's quite nice. This is the, the best. I, I, I mean, I wish it, just, it could just be us two all the time. Uh, I know. I, I mean, know. we just have to have him just have to kind of um, we need to we, need, we can't be accused of being racist no, we, we need, need, to, we need to see that we're, we are you know, we're, know basically we don't equal opportunity employer exactly. sort of thing everyone has to say that uh, we no. kind of embrace it a bit oh man I wish he wasn't here I wish we'd have to embrace asshole. it at all it's unbelievable he's a prick painful asshole. that beer you raw shock him shy yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd rather drink my own piss I'd rather drink your piss that's saying something thanks mate I, after I drink this I wouldn't imagine you want to drink my piss but no, no. Well. or anyone's piss for that matter oh by the way I'm um, having my uh, leaving party in Metro oh great do you want to come in yeah, when is it? <laughs> I'm glad you're announcing this on a fucking podcast, George. Yeah, why not? I'm going to edit this bit out. You do realize that, right? Yeah, whatever, man. We can't fucking have this in it. Can we not? Well, yeah, you probably could. Wait, when is your... When is your okay, let, let's fucking publicly announce it. When is your leaving? Know. You don't know when your leaving I'm party gonna, is? No, I do. Well, no, I, no, I don't. Is it going to be a happy affair? Or a oh, yeah, definitely. As in... No like, girlfriends, wives involved. Oh, I'm liking the sound of this now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to edit that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not getting put in. Uh, uh, sure, uh, hang, hang on a second. Why is no wives or girlfriends involved? You know, one of them is pregnant. One of them doesn't that's right. the other people. You know. That's right. I, I agree. So Fuck these people. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, all down they, for that shit. You know, it's like they, they cannot interfere with the, the rest of the bunch. Exactly. I'm all down for that shit, dude. Let me know what day that is. I will clear up my calendar, my very busy schedule, and I will be there. Fucking busy schedule. Yeah, very busy schedule. <gasps> what the <laughs> fuck was that? Well, okay, Mac Darren, you uh, broke the seal again. I just like to say, um, you've gonna, gone for gonna... a piss. Chica's gone for a piss. I've held on like a, you know, like a proper man should. Okay. How was your piss there, Darren? Enjoy that? I did. Did you get it all over the floor? My floor? Your floor? Is that your house? It is. It is. Why? Where else are you? Sp- what are you supposed to do in there? Where else are you supposed <laughs> to put it? That's the best answer I've ever heard. Where else? Where are you supposed to get it? Well, between, well, the floor and the bath. Yeah, you put it between, in there. Oh, you put it in the bath between the two. That's okay. Kind of makes it up That's good. That's good. There was a lot of it. Like I so. usually go in yeah. the sink. That's okay. The sink is good too. Anywhere but the toilet, lads. Anywhere but the fucking toilet. No, but that's where you wash your hands, isn't it? Uh, that's Darren, the do you go? Do you go in the well, sink? Was it was the water slightly brown? Was it? Do you go in top deck? That bitch. Do you go in the sink or do you go in the bathtub? I kind of just mix it up. I mean, if I was in there earlier, right <laughs> just what? mix it. You just sit in between, yeah, going I mean, left, right. <laughs> like you know, it's it's easier if you kind of I mix between know. the two. It's just. What did you, you know. explain it to us, Darren? Well, you you already asked me to. I just have so. Yeah. Lads, what what's with the passive aggressive shit going on between There's you? Do you want to fucking kiss and make up? <laughs> what you guys fucking hate each other? Is it wrong that I'm imagining kissing him right now? Is oh, that wrong? It's just like I like this fucking label, man. Are you imagine having a bit of ginger beard uh, in, your, what? in your mouth? Right, I've taken it. Yeah. Oh, forget it. Forget it. It's not, wor- it's not worth it. It's not worth what? it, Chica. Yeah, it's a ginger beard. That's not it's the happen. ginger beard is a major turn off. I was like, <laughs> speaking of ginger beard, you know, there's a fucking ginger beer. It's called. Yeah, oh, ginger he's, beer. it's a good link. He's, he's, he's lining that up massively That's probably well. the best uh, link he's ever did. <laughs> I think we ever end the podcast right now. That's just, you can't Look, beat that. I mean, probably should. just fucking end it right now. I was going, but I was like, ah. Ginger beer. Ah. Duh. Ah. It's no, it's 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 different. No, it, it, I wouldn't be no, used, hang on a second. It's not fucking different. It's cider. Darren. I wouldn't be used for me. It's it's very different. I I don't drink cider. You're not a cider man. Well, no, the last one I had cider was probably with you. And I remember we were <laughs> one of the other memories that I, I'm, it's weird that Go you on. wanted to bring up Eamon Dorrance <laughs> because I was actually going to bring that up tonight as well. But another memory I have of you is I, I, I had dyed my hair fire engine red at the Excuse time. Excuse me? I had dyed my hair blue. Uh, what? Probably not the same time. Yeah, I used to have blue hair. <laughs> and I, 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 I literally yes. had like hair please, the color please, of this bag of Maltesers. Please explain. I, uh, around about the time when I was in college I had blue, blue spiky hair. Yeah. And I had red Darren? spiky, like the color of this Maltesers bag. Oh my fucking dear Jesus God. I'm sorry that we had fun when we were younger, uh, GK. Blue I'm hair. sorry we had fun. Blue hair. Yeah, fucking blue. It was fucking blue. I know it was kick ass blue. Fucking peas and blues are It was kick ass blue. Fucking mic. It was kind of blacky. It was black, but it was like blue depending on what certain light it was. And then it went full fucking blue and it was fucking mm. awesome. Mine, anyway. turned, mine turned pink afterwards because it washed That's out. okay. Who cares? Pink is anyway. pink. Don't say that. Don't say it out loud. 
Look, your beard is fucking ginger and there's nothing you can do about Look, it. Anyway, it's not ginger. It is ginger. No, Me you know what, guys? I'll post a fucking picture on... It's ginger. No, I'll take a picture of my beard and post it on Twitter, WhatsApp, whatever. Fucking... It's yeah. fucking ginger. It's I, don't, I don't need the... It fucking is. No, take a picture of it. Are you telling me the beard on your fucking face is the same as... Well, okay, let, let, let's say this. There's very Close. little hair. There's very little hair on the top of your head. That that's has nothing to but do with it. But are you telling me it's the same color? No. Yeah, it's exactly, actually, it's not. Lads, is it time to give this a bit of a rating? I know it's, it's a big yeah, bottle. Yeah, I think we should rate it. Yeah. It's a big bottle. Go yeah, on, but chicken. how do I rate it compared to the beer? It's just treat it as a fucking beer, man. You know Up, what? middle or down? Middle, baby. Middle? Yeah. I'm going to give it a middle as well. I'm give it a middle too. All right. It's another fucking middle. Lads, it. it's been a pleasure. It has been. Right. Three, so, three, uh, three beers I'll... have been consumed. Proper job was the nicest one tonight. Oh, I enjoyed that. Man. Come on, this is... we did. Okay, my beer is the winner. Yeah. Okay, relax. Proper oh, job right. was the oh, winner. No, 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 you no, didn't no. brew the fucking thing. All right. My listen, beer is listen, the winner, Jiggy. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the cider was nice. It, 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 bit of a burn now in the, in the throw from the cider. Was it? Which is, yeah. So, in my opinion, the first place was proper job. Second place was the punk IPA. And third place was the uh, no, I must Longfield say, House Cider. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, enjoy, I, I, I enjoyed proper job. It was nice. It brought back memories of my birthday. Thank Thanks you, fun. Darren. <laughs> no problem. Uh, it's a shame Jake didn't remember. Yeah. yeah. Just take your poor, poor I brought the fucking beer. Yeah. Nah, perform. Yeah. Perform. Yeah. perform. 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 Smashing it on my table isn't going to help. It's not going to Oh, no. <laughs> it's certainly going to make up <laughs> for the fact you've forgotten all the story of birdie. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Jake, slow. if you could sum up your beer in one word, what a what would it be? Delicious. Ego. That's what I did. Yeah. It was. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Ego. G- hold on. Hold on a second. Jir- Chica, you, you, if you can sum up your beer in one Jir- word. Jirka. I like that. Jirka. Is Romanian cocksuck or one word? <laughs> what? And it probably is a name in Romania. You know what? S- kiss my ass. Is that one word? Pula. Is that one word? <laughs> Please don't Google that. All right, it's a good time to wrap it up here when we're all about the fucking wrap up his other. fucking mouth before he keeps. It was a it was a great podcast. Uh, not uh, no, it <laughs> was a good podcast. It was a long we have podcast. we have some beers that we still have to finish because we're not finished. It was not raw cider long. Yeah, yeah, cider. Big, yeah, whatever. Big dirty bottle of cider. Uh, so uh, thanks Inside for listening. Cider. If you bought or listening all the way through, uh, we'll be back next one with some with some more beers. And more and laughs. More shite. More shite. You know, whatever it is, it's going to be, it's going to go, it's going to, you know. Thanks for that insight, George. <laughs> uh, moving swiftly on. Uh, it's going to be a regular <laughs> monthly, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be us frequenting your, uh, your, your ear canal. <laughs> right in the fucking ear canal. <laughs> we're going to sound waves. We're going to you know penetrate what? your ear canal exactly. on a regular basis. No, I had, f- I had fun enjoying your cider, and Darren, I had fun enjoying your beer. No, I'll try and watching, kick, kiss, and you know lick what? Ass. I'm not kissing anybody's ass. You kiss my ass. Watching your time. fucking sad, <laughs> you know. No, I, I enjoyed <laughs> drinking your drinks. Well, it sounds like someone who's never spoke English in their fucking life. What are yeah. you talking about? You know what? Listen to this. Kiss my ass. Uh, is that the tattoo you're going to get on your shoulder? As well? Guys, I think we're going to wrap this yeah. up. Thank you very, very much for listening. And uh, we'll yeah, see yeah, you guys thank next you, time. everyone who's listened. All one of you. All and that one is probably me. Again, <laughs> as, as you said in the last podcast, if you actually listen to this podcast, uh, most of this is going to be it. Send, <laughs> send an email to uh, Brucey's podcast at gmail.com. And we'll fix you up with a, with a prize. No, listen, let's, let's, let's not get carried away. Anyone who's actually listened to the end, let's genuinely listen to the whole thing. Send an email to Brucey's podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. S- send us your name. Just yeah. say, yeah, I've listened to the end and we'll give you a shout on the next one. I'll give you a fucking prize. No, I will give you a fucking well, prize. Fuck, what, what are you going to give me? I'll give, give you a fucking no, prize. No, you're just looking for someone to no, give you a Christmas we're gonna tree. Give you the tree. <laughs> we're going to give you the tree. We're, we're going to give you, you a Christmas, Christmas tree. Man, if, you want, if you want a four and a half full Christmas tree, that's dead. It's a beautiful tree, man. It's a beautiful tree. <laughs> Then just listen. send us an email. Go for it. No, listen, do do send us an email. No, we won't let Noel send just, that. It's just, gonna be gone. Just let us feel legitimate. We'll we desperately want people to send that. No, we'll, we'll, we'll send you something. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening and uh, see you next month. We we'll send you, you George month. Dignity because he left it behind to the, hey, the podcast. That's a good message to end on. See you later. Just see Bye-bye. See Bye.